All right, I'm the Flight Red Master. Today we're gonna to talk about, well, how come techs aren't being paid for doing DVI inspections? So while I did a video and kind of people lost the plot on that one, so figured it was time for a retread. Now I've surveyed a bunch of techs that do DVI inspections. I've watched several posts about DVI inspections. So let's talk about the issues I have with those inspections not really the inspections. Every shop owner gives percentages of 50 to 60 to 70% close ratio on what's written up on a DVI inspection. Great, that's awesome. That's a great sales and marketing tool. But why is it every time I talk to a tech, they're paid nothing or 0.3, a couple were paid 0.5. Now, the consensus of all those techs that do DVI inspections is it takes about a half hour. Reasonable, quality inspection, doing it right. But why is the consensus to either pay nothing or 0.3? If it's such a powerful sales and marketing tool, why are you not paying your techs for it? And it does not matter whether they're hourly, hourly with commission or flat rate. It affects all of them. If it takes them more time than they're allotted, you have the issue of them, well, let's be honest, not doing a very good job at it. Every tech on the planet has gotten those old sheets and pistol whipped it. Every tech especially when you're looking at a late model car with very little needed on it or Russian oil change, et cetera, et cetera. If you want those to be the effective sales tool they are, why not pay for it? Let's take a hourly technician. You pay 0.3, he does, let's say, five a day. That's an hour of his time that isn't reflected in his efficiency. And let's be honest, when it comes down to it, that's going to be the, one of the factors that depends on them getting a pay raise, how efficient they are, how much of their hourly wage is being wasted, not being productive. You know, it is. Flat rate tax. One of the biggest problems with flat rate is this kind of thing, is putting a tool like that and making the tech do it without proper compensation. Now I've heard shop owners say, oh, but it only takes 0.3 according to my guys. And we timed them and you know, yeah. Okay. I know air filters that take several minutes to take out just to inspect them. Cabin air filters where you have to pull things out of the dash to get a cabin air filter. How do you inspect that in 0.3? I know how effective I am at inspections. I know for me, a standard non-invasive inspection takes me 0.3. That's without taking pictures, pulling out a tablet. That's just me looking over the vehicle and then writing down what I find. I think 0.3 is completely unreasonable for a DVI. Now, again, in that other video, I've yet to do a DVI. Just hasn't been implemented any place I've worked. But I've talked to a lot of techs, and they all pretty much say the same thing. It takes a half hour. So pay your techs for the job they're doing, not some random number you came up with to balance your books. You know, if it's an hourly technician, what does it matter on the books what you pay them? If they're hourly, it shouldn't matter. Put it at 0.5 so they're properly allocated the time necessary for what they're doing. We all know flat rate can, you know, screw people over and you're doing it over and over again, multiple times a day. This is the stuff that pushes people out of this industry constantly doing stuff they're not properly compensated for. On average, it's an extra two tenths. And if it's such a huge marketing and sales tool, 
pay your tax. It's not that hard of a concept. If you want them to do a thorough inspection, make sure they're compensated. Especially, it, it, it's not rocket science. If you want them to rush through an inspection because they only get 0.3, well, you're going to get a rushed inspection. If you want them to do a thorough job so you can sell, you know, that whole 300 rule, give them the proper amount of time to do the correct job. You know, let's be honest, I shouldn't have to make this video. And I've seen that multiple times from shop owners as well. I have to make this video. So, as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.